Today I wanted to make a quick off-topic video. Uh, well, I say it's off-topic because it's not going to be about Linux, but I guess it's somewhat on-topic because we're going to talk about cryptocurrencies, which are sort of tech-related. But I, I don't make any kind of crypto content. I'm, I, you know, I really don't know enough about cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. I, I don't make videos about it. But a couple of weeks ago, I did post a little bit about Dogecoin on my community tab on my YouTube channel. And because of that, people have all of a sudden asked me my thoughts on the recent crash of cryptocurrency prices. Because at the time, two weeks ago, I bought uh, $2,500 worth of Dogecoin. I, I got it at an average price of $0.35. Cents. And at the time of that posting, uh, two weeks ago, it had spiked all the way up to almost $0.68 cents when I took this screenshot. It actually kept going up. It went all the way up to $0.72, cents, I think, later that day. And from there, it kind of went back down a little bit. It kind of found the ceiling there, but it hung out, you know, in the 60 something cent range for a while until, I don't know, a few days later where it kind of just crashed. You see that long red candle? That was during Elon Musk's Saturday Night Live appearance. And all of a sudden, like in an instant, you know, the price of Dogecoin went from like 70 cents down to like 45 cents in <laughs> practically minutes. And that made, of course, a lot of people very sad, especially those that bought near the top, because you always get people buying near the top. <laughs> Luckily, you know, this crash didn't hurt me because I'm still up at this point because I bought in quite a bit lower than where it crashed down to. But many people did not. And of course, it sucks to lose money. So people have asked me about the recent crash of crypto prices because everything is going down. You know, the stock market is kind of going down a little bit too, or at least it's going sideways, but crypto has really crashed down. If I look at the three month chart here for Bitcoin, I mean, Bitcoin was trading at 64,000, you know, not too long ago, a month ago. And then the other day it crashed all the way down to, at one point it got under 32,000. 64,000, 32,000. You're talking about a 50% decrease in price. And if you bought in at the top, of course, you're very sad. <laughs> With me, Dogecoin made me very sad uh, it, there for a while because when Bitcoin had that large crash the other day, Dogecoin also went down at one point, uh, they say 26 cents here on this chart. It was at 72 cents at the high, went all the way down to 26 cents. Actually, I think it spiked down all the way to 22 cents on one of my charts. Uh, so it was a drastic price decline. LBCs are the one I really care about because I actually depend on LBCs for income. You know, as a creator over on Odyssey, which uses library, which, you know, you guys that watch my content over on Odyssey, you can tip me. That's how I make income on that platform. There's no ads. It's dependent on you guys tipping me library credits or LBCs. It's library's own cryptocurrency. And for a while, it's it's been a major source of income for me. It, it makes me almost as much money as like ad revenue on YouTube, at, at least in some months it has. Because there for a while, LBCs were worth, well, at one point it got all the way up to 44 cents for the price of an LBC. And then the other day when we had the crypto kind of crash where everything just went down, we got under 10 cents at one point, nine and a half cents was the price of an LBC the other day. It went back up here. I think today we're trading around uh, 10 and a half cents. That's still way, way off the highs. And that's still lower than I think at any point in the last three months on this three month chart. So it's the lowest price it's been in months. And that's a, a serious situation for those of us that depend on crypto or in this case specifically LBCs for income. And people are asking about this. Hey, do you still want us to view your content on Odyssey? Yes. If you don't want to be on YouTube, and I understand a lot of people don't want to be on YouTube. Absolutely. I would prefer you to be on Odyssey watching my content. People have asked, hey, I'd like to make a donation to you. Yeah. How do you want a donation? You want money through PayPal? You want Patreon, uh, you want some LBCs on Odyssey. Absolutely. Anything that you feel comfortable with. I don't mind taking the LBCs, even though right now the price is kind of depressed. You, you got to realize, and, and this is for everybody that has Bitcoin and Dogecoin, and LBCs and Ethereum and Litecoin right now. You know, you probably are not cashing this stuff out right now anyway. I wouldn't. 
Uh, why would you cash out your LBCs when they're worth, you know, 10 cents? They were uh, worth 44 cents, you know, a couple of months ago. Uh, that now is not the right time to all of a sudden go cash out all your LBCs. I would hold on to that thing because the price is going to rebound, right? I think we've reached the bottom. Because, you know, it, we've had that sharp decline, but then it kind of rebounded a little bit and it's, things are kind of going sideways right now. I, I think the prices have corrected themselves. And I think now we don't have to worry about it crashing down even further. I'm not worried about that. And I'm fine holding on to my LBCs, you know, for a month or two until, you know, things kind of return back to normal or at least to where they return to a price that I find acceptable for actually cashing them out. Now, thankfully, I'm one of the content creators that are on both YouTube and Odyssey. And, you know, a lot of people debate, especially when you're a big fan of free and open source software like I am. Hey, why be on YouTube? Well, I, I, the main reason I stick on YouTube is because there's so many viewers on YouTube and I want to spread the message of free and open source software to the most people and especially the the audience that needs it, which typically is the people that hang out on YouTube. But there is, of course, income from YouTube. There's the AdSense revenue that you generate on YouTube and it's not great, but it's it's OK money. I like you wouldn't turn down free money and you know, a lot of people, though, had started getting away from YouTube here in recent months. A lot of people were voluntarily shutting down their YouTube channels and moving exclusively to Odyssey. And the crypto crash really hurts those people because it's one of those things you never want to put all of your eggs in one basket. And that's what this crypto crash, it teaches us a, a few important lessons. One, be on multiple platforms, right? Now, and I was saying this about YouTube. Don't just be on YouTube. Be on Odyssey or Library or you know some of the other things that are out there like BitChute and DTube. You know, I haven't checked out any of those because I'm pretty comfortable with just doing YouTube and Odyssey. We got YouTube, you know, the big video platform, and I got Odyssey, which I think is great as far as free and open source software. But you know, I be on all the platforms, right? If if you can, I I, I don't think it's a bad thing because when one goes tits up, you've got the others, right? And especially when we're talking about revenue, don't put all your eggs in one basket as far as revenue. Don't depend solely on YouTube ad revenue for your income. If you do, you're going to be in a bad way when YouTube shuts down one day or decides to ban you for no apparent reason one day or whatever happens, you know, same thing with those of you that are depending solely on cryptocurrency donations on a platform like Odyssey. When the price of crypto is worthless, then that's that's no good either. You know, and I, I strongly suggest people, you know, I, I've been very happy with Patreon subscriptions because Patreon allows you to have something where you can actually depend on that income every month and you actually kind of know that the price is not going to change, right? <laughs> I never have to worry about one month making half as much on Patreon as I did the previous month. The price, you know, never changes as far as, you know, I've got about the same number of subscribers. It goes up and down a little bit, but for the most part, it's not like YouTube ad revenue. YouTube ad, ad revenue is, you know, the revenue graph will look like this. If I was looking at a yearly graph of what I make each month. And the same thing with uh, Odyssey, especially when we talk about price fluctuations as far as exchange rates for LBCs. You know, it, the, the price varies wildly from month to month. And some people have asked me, you know, now that we've had this crypto crash, should they be buying crypto? I'm not a financial advisor. This is not a financial advice kind of channel. So take this with a grain of salt. I'll tell you what I would do right now is me personally, I'm probably going to buy a little more crypto because now that the price has crashed down and it seems like it's found its bottom, I think now is a good time to buy a little crypto. I bought a little more Doge the other day. I already had some Doge. I bought a little more because why not? When the price came way down back to where it actually got down below where I originally bought in, I bought some more. I, I, well, it hit the bottom of like 22 cents and then it came back up a little bit to 30 cents, 32 cents. Or so, and that's where I bought back in. You don't want to you know, see it steadily going down and you know, try to time the bottom just right, you know, wait for it to hit the bottom. And, you know, if it rebounds and it kind of goes sideways for a couple of days, that's probably an OK time to get back in. So that's what I did. But again, not a financial advisor. And typically you know, all of my investments go bad. So, uh, you know, take that again with a grain of salt.
Another lesson that the crypto crash teaches us is that everything that goes up must come down. I mean, we have had a pretty good run, you know, like I was looking at the three month chart for Bitcoin here. But if I look at the all time chart for Bitcoin, I mean, really, since 2019, it's been whew, way up. Right? <laughs> and it, you can't have that go on forever. It's impossible. Nothing works like that. Everything that goes up must eventually come down. And this thing went up so fast, you knew it was overvalued. There had to be a correction. That's why we had the correction. Same thing with Doge. Let me look at an all-time chart. I mean, look at this. Really, in the last two months, Doge, you know, straight up, you know, to the, to the sky. <laughs> right? That's so unusual. It had to come down. LBCs, if I look at an all-time chart for LBCs, now back here, we had some stuff going on, but really it was pretty much worthless until, you know, sometime in 2020, things started going up and started going up and started going up. And then of course it's come crashing back down here in recent weeks. I think one of the lessons everybody needs to know is, hey, when you invest and, and that's what you're doing uh, since what i suggest you do is invest in crypto meaning buy it and plan on holding it for a while too many people buy it and think next week it's going to double in price and they're going to cash out you know for a hundred percent gain no don't do that you know that's not what i'm doing with dogecoin i'm just holding on to it i'm going to hold on to it for a while because i think in the long run it's going to be worth a lot more you know, in the future than it is today. Same thing with Bitcoin. Now that Bitcoin's <laughs> come back down to 35,000 or 40,000, whatever it is, it's trading at the moment. You know, it was trading at 64,000 not that long ago. And many people thought it could eventually go up to 100,000. It may still do that. <laughs> so buying a little Bitcoin might be okay. Uh, and, you know, all of you guys, if you're holding on to this stuff, especially like you library creators, Odyssey creators, and you got a whole bunch of LBC, you know, uh, yeah, it sucks that it's kind of not worth much right now, but just hold on to it. You know, don't panic. Now, some people are going to panic and cash out at these ridiculously low rates. And then that's just a bad move. Un unless you really need that money, unless it's really you depend on that money to pay the bills, to pay the rent. You know, if you got other sources of income. Hold on to that crypto because that crypto, I promise you, all of it is going to turn back around. All of it's going to come back up. Same thing with it can't go up forever. It's not going to go down forever either. It's going to come back. So just calm your tits, guys. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of this episode. Absy, Dallas, Gabe, Lou, Mitchell, Alan, Akami, Archfield for 30, Chuck, David, the other David, Dylan, Gregory, Lewis, Paul, Polytech, Scott, Stevens, Men, Wes, and Willie. They're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon without these guys. This episode that you just watched, it wouldn't have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen. All these names you're seeing right now, these are all my supporters over on Patreon because I'm sponsored by you guys, the community. That's right. Cheez-Its does not sponsor me. I need you guys to help me out. Look for DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.